Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today is May 10th, 2021, and I am working on a new project. So recently I did a tomato growing uh, in this station here, and it gotten out of control, so I took the tomato plant outside. So now I'm going to start over because the unit is free, and I have a cross of mine that I just divided. I started a few plants like this here. And uh, I just basically picked the rock wool up, split it in half. And now I have two plants. One is going to go into the unit and the other one going to go outside. So now uh, this piece here is going to go here. And as you can see, I still need another piece of the half to fit in there. So I'm going to cut this in half, squeeze it in there, and then we're going to put it into the unit. And as always, I have my nutrients pre-mix here, a gallon at a time. And this time, because I ran out of the AeroGarden solution, I'm using the DynaGrow 795. And all I'm doing is five milliliter per gallon of water, and that's it, no pH, no nothing. So as simple as that. So let me go ahead and put the, the plant inside the, the cup here, and then we're going to start it up. Okay, so it's very simple. I cut the rock wool in half, and then I fit it into this cup here, and we're going to place the unit in here in there and fill it up with nutrients and we're ready to go so let let me go ahead and fill this up real quick okay there it is the pump is running and i have this set for 10 hours a day and once we put this on top we're all set and ready to go and uh just sit back relax and wait and watch it grow the light is set at 50% because this is a very strong, powerful light hood. So if I set it to 100%, it's going to be really strong and it may burn the plant. Okay, and uh, if you have seen uh, my review video or the tomato video, uh, this is how I control the unit. See my LEDs right there and it's going to be uh, at 50%, it's still heating up. and You can turn on the pump, turn on and off and I have my hours set and everything so uh we're good to go so there it is we'll come back soon and check on this uh as soon as there's some progress okay it has been exactly 23 days now and the plant is looking good uh, notice the uh the larger leaves are gone and i made a huge mistake because i accidentally uh set the unit to 60 percent of the uh the light um intensity and what it did was it it really burned the leaf it turned it white and it started to discolor and all that stuff so i had to quickly uh, readjust down to uh 40 percent and uh now the leaves that are growing new they're looking good see the top leaves here you see how that yellowish kind of faded and stuff like that uh, it, it also turns white and that's when you know that it's getting really really burned and there's just too much light or too strong so uh yeah and right now it's looking good uh, eventually i'm gonna boost it up to 50 percent but i'm gonna keep it at 50 percent because that's probably the most the plant can handle in this unit because it's a very a very powerful system for being something so small uh anyway today uh you see here we have uh pods over there actually not pods but flowers and I'm not ready for the, the plant to flower yet because I want to, these uh, size to grow here. And I'm going to try to keep the plant really small and short because the system uh, is also pretty small. So if it grows outside the system, um, it's not going to be good. Also, if it grows too tall, then uh, this part will get all the light and the bottom parts will not. So what I'm going to do today to try to keep it small is cut the top off right here like that and what it's going to do now is it's going to focus back the growth the energy on these growth right here these side shoots so i'm going to get a fuller plant shorter plant um topping uh it, it really depends because sometimes it's not a good idea but sometimes it's also a good idea at the same time so uh, in hydroponic uh, i top all the time because the plant always has nutrients available so it's gonna grow just fine. Uh, also because I'm trying to keep it short and small. So um, pruning is a good idea when you are uh, growing in small space. 
Okay, it has been 30 days for the plant and 7 days since we topped the piece up here. And wow, look at that. In 7 days, it sprouted all these sides and look at how big it's gotten. That is ridiculous for 7 days. But uh, yeah, the plant is still struggling a little bit because the intensity is a little strong. Even when I set it down to 30%, it's still a bit uh, high. So I'm going to uh, move the lamp, the hood here up a little bit uh, after this. And our nutrients level is, is uh, still pretty good, but I'm going to be changing it out pretty soon so that uh, it get a nice fresh batch. And uh, again, mixing my nutrients is as simple as you saw early in the video. It's just nutrients and water, no pH, no nothing. So uh, yeah, we'll come back uh, once uh, I'm ready to change the nutrients and I will show you. Okay, today we are on day number 32 and I am going to change out the nutrients. So uh, to speed up the video, I have already cleaned out the unit so it's very simple the whole base can come out then you lift this top piece here to remove the plant from the bottom base and then you can wash everything up wash the bottom piece the, the reservoir make sure it's nice and clean if there's algae or whatever just uh, clean it all up and then we can mix a new batch of nutrients so what I normally do is uh, I use one gallon of water I keep things very simple then I add five milliliter of cow mag first because I feel the plant is needing some uh, magnesium and calcium and then I'll shake it all up make sure everything is uh, dispersed evenly I wait a few minutes and then I add the grow so again uh, one gallon of water you're gonna add five milliliter of cow mag first shake it up and then a few minutes later add five milliliter of grow then shake it up and that's it and we're ready to feed the plant so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more I added a little bit already you see so you can add as much as you like all the way to the top where it it, uh, it touches or even go past the net cup because this is a DWC method it has the air being pumped to the root so you're not gonna drown it so um, I'm gonna add it and we'll be back soon when uh, there's more progress on this plant. All right, guys, today we are on day number 50. And I actually forgot that I was recording this series. So I was in the middle of taking the plant out of the unit here to put into my uh, soil system because I'm going to use this system for something else. Also, I wanted to grow this plant outside because this is a good time. So you see, I started to clean it up. And then uh, I'm now starting to remove it out of the, the net cup. So uh, then I remember that I, I was recording something. So anyway, uh, I'm almost done with uh, removing the, uh, the roots. So first I pull it out of here. You see the rock wool is still on and stuff. And then slowly I'm trying to work the, the roots out of the, the net cup right here. And in the process, you. Uh, you're going to uh, damage some roots. Uh, if you do this uh, in your uh, aero garden, stuff like that, it's basically the same process. And uh, some roots will be damaged, but they should be okay. So here, so there we go, my net cup. And here is um, my plant. So uh, we're going to transplant this into soil, and then we're gonna trim this back because uh, I, I left this into in the in the light and it was really strong so it kind of burned some of the top so uh, I'm gonna trim this back and then uh, let the plant start over okay so I have a bucket here that is ready to uh, transplant the plant into and this one here was uh, storing my other plant but it kind of died because I neglected it so um, we're gonna put the plant here so first, I want to sort of remove some of the the rock wool cube. If you could, if you if you can't, that's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. So here's what we have left. So we're going to have to uh, dig a pretty deep hole down there.
Okay, now we're going to fit the plant in here. Okay, so now we are going to do a little trimming. You see all these flowers here? We're just gonna cut it off and let it start over. All right, so you see the plant is pretty bare. So uh, we can pull some leaves off as well. Okay, and we just bury the leaves. And now we're gonna give it a thorough water. Make sure there's, a, there's more water than usual because the plant just came out of soil, so it needs a lot of moisture. Okay, so we will need to keep this in the shade for about a week before we can expose it to full sunlight. So uh, we'll be back soon. Okay, it has been seven days now and the plant is getting well adjusted, you see? There's new growth here and the plant is still sitting under my patio where it gets a little morning uh, sun and then mostly in the afternoon it gets shade. So um, because of that, it's, uh, it's getting established and uh, coming back to life. So now, after seven days, I can actually put it um, in, a, in a, a brighter spot where it can get more sun. And uh, if you want, you can put it under full sun and it should be fine from this point forth. So you can see the, the soil is still uh, has a lot of moisture and uh, that's what you need to do in the first seven days. But after that, you can water a little less because once the, the plant is established, uh, the roots are getting used to the soil condition. Now you want to water a little less. Uh, just have moisture in the soil, but not super, super soaking wet all the time. That way the plant can grow new root and, and uh, crawl around down there and also breathe in the soil. And then uh, that should uh, work. Um, for the plants to uh, start growing. So uh, we will be back soon. All right guys, welcome back. It has been 37 days since we transplanted the plant into this bucket from hydroponic and it is doing amazing. There are already fruits right there, you see? And there are lots and lots of flowers and uh, those will form into fruits very soon. You see, so the process worked really well. Just follow uh, the exact method that I did, uh, it'll work probably 90% of the time and you know occasionally you may have some issues but every time I do this they, it always worked so um, the most important thing to do is uh, keep this out of the shade in the first uh, week or two uh, make sure the soil is nicely moistened uh, a little bit wetter than usual uh, during the transitioning period and then you're all set to go and then after a week or two you can put it under full sun and uh, the plant will be on its own and you can start fertilizing and all that stuff. So uh, look at how beautiful it is right now. So I'm going to get a lot of fruits very soon. See, I already have some. So uh, yeah, uh, if you ever wanted to uh, uh, do this, um, you know, when the plants outgrow your air garden or your uh, hydroponic system, then you can try this method and just put it into soil. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.